Well, this is my first stop. I got two hinkles from a lady, and I sold her one knife. My second stop, which I didn't know about until I was halfway home, I got uh, two big pair of lopers, one set of pruners, and the guy says it's a Boy Scout axe, but I can't see a Boy Scout axe nowhere on it. It's like a Boy Scout axe, I think. I'm soaking it with some WD-40 now, get ready to put the wire brush on. And these as well. Okay, that's all the knife action we got to have today. It's like 3.30 now. If they're really nasty, I use my angle grinder with a wire wheel on it. But not too bad. I use this wire wheel on my on my flexible shaft job to do to clean them up. These are like relatively good shape, so I had to just buff them up a little bit. All that stuff came off. But the axe is uh, not so not like that. I got to do some extra work to the axe or uh, hatchet, I should say. Just from the end of the day, you finish up the lopers, you finish up the three, three, two kitchen knives, you think you're done for the day. A guy pulls in your driveway and he's got glory in his truck. Glory's right there. I got a lot of work here. Two Chicago's, a Wustoff, and the best ever, Randall made. This baby's been in Vietnam. I've done this knife once before, three years ago. Finest knife I ever messed with. I tell you, this knife business is funny business. Just when you get through with the hatchet and the lopers, you think you're done for the day, a guy pulls in your driveway with glory. Glory's at the bottom. I ain't showed you that yet. Carry knife, Gurkha knife, they got, I don't know what the real name, I, I I don't know. I gotta clean it up, you see it's got a lot of rust on it. The little knives, they have a name, but I can't think what it is, but they've been in that sheath too long. Knife washed off, two Chicago cutleries, a little shun vegetable cleaver that's been chopping a lot of rough vegetables. Uh, his favorite knife is a, it looks like a Tramontina. No, it's a gourmet, German. Sirations are pretty much gone on it. And here's the glory. The best, the best of knives ever, my opinion. Bench made, I mean not bench made. Randall. This is a Vietnam era Randall been in combat. I sharpened this knife for this guy once before. Three, maybe four years ago. This is a fine knife, ladies and gentlemen. Fine knife. You got a deep deep in your pocketbook to get one of these and wait a long time two or three four or five years maybe now Randall what a ticket okay there's the handmade case Randall made knives Orlando Florida they already made some knives in their day all cleaned up. Here's the magic right here. Don't get any better than that. Ever. Goes right on here. This 4MAX special sisal compound made only for sisal wheels. You see what this looks like right now? 
Stand by just a minute. I'm either going to do this little cleaver because it's a little dull. These little tiquitos right here. Now that's not going to go away. That's too deep. It'll just have a patina now. I think most of this will clean up. I ain't sure about all of it. And I don't believe that'll go away. That might. I doubt that will. It'll just have a patina too. We'll do the back end of it. Alright, let's go. We'll even do the brass tip. That ain't bad for the first pass. 